Hi, hello. Hi, Cosmic Light Force. Hi, Drew. Uh, so this is for our YouTube channel. There's a little chit chat with Drew. Um, we had a first episode a while back. It's in one of my videos. But for today, we're just going to flow through different topics. Um, hi, Drew. How have you been? How are you doing? I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm always I'm always happy to uh to be with you and connect with you and um and everybody, you know, in, in uh in your circle. And yeah, um I'm doing great. Um it's you know, just wild times right now and just, you know, just surfing through it and uh and everything. But um I'm I'm blessed and I'm uh, I'm in a good space um um all the way around. And um yeah, it's it's uh Really, really interesting times right now we're living in. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, just to give a little bit of context, uh, well, so you may hear goats or cows or cats <laughs> or chickens from where I am because I'm in the province. It's about five hours away from our Manila city city. So this is in the province and those are my neighbors. I live by the beach while Drew is calling in from LA. Am I right? That's your house in um, LA? Right outside of LA. Yeah. yeah. Southern California. But yes, yeah, so it's, it's it's very close to LA. So we do have a lot of, at least me, like I have people who watch my videos, even on other platforms that are empaths or intuitives or have some um, spiritual practice that they're sharing with others. And um, can you share a little bit about your background, Drew? Because it's so cool. And from what I know is it balances your energy fields and all of that and where can you get that <laughs> um yeah i mean I've, I've i've been in the i've been in the space everything that you've mentioned um um many years now probably like about a decade now and i've been in um holistic medicine more more in cannabis and and uh and cbd and mushrooms and and plant-based medicines um um, for even longer than that, for 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 several decades now, and um, um, yeah, and and I I, I run a a company. I'm, I'm technically retired, but I you know since COVID, I've been helping people with their health and wellness, and you know maintaining their like a strong immune immune system uh, for the body, uh, but just not through supplements, but through um, a healthy mental state. Um, um, energy wise, you know, um, and uh, certain things that we can do to kind of like maintain and not just maintain, maintaining, healing or healing, maintaining and then enhancing our our bodies, you know, our body, mind and, and, and spirit. And and um, so, yeah, um, um, so that's kind of like in a nutshell um, right now um, of, uh, of what I do. I, I run a channel uh called cosmic life force you know um some of you guys may may heard of that or, or if not it's on telegram um where i talk about uh health and wellness but i also talk about like many other things um exposure of like you know just things that's going on geopolitical news and you know uh even finan financial stuff and just all the way around just it's it, it's it's just overall awareness to understand what's really going on because there's so much disinformation and misinformation out there so i kind of like put in my little two cents on um and and my perspective on um on what's going on uh, out there and to avoid like the the 3d matrix traps in um in all these areas and and, and there's a lot of traps out there to just you know suck in people that are not aware basically you know when I first met you, I know that you were sharing a lot of these things through Instagram. And then at some point, like you moved from Instagram to Telegram, um, you know, because I, I think that's one of your things, like to to share more truthful information about the mass media disinformation, misinformation um, in the 3D matrix. And, Technically, um, I didn't move. I mean, I did move, but I... I, I got nuked <laughs> like they just oh. killed my account and that's why I just disappeared and stuff and I, I did create a new um well I, I I have a new account but it's it's an old account that I just revamped and um but yeah Instagram was doing heavy censoring um same with Twitter and and um and even you know the Twitter thing that they had at the House Committee in Congress you know I, it's all been proven that 
you know, even Mark Zuckerberg has said like, hey, we have, you know, uh, sense of things that eventually became true um, or it's found out to be true, especially with COVID and and uh, and everything. And, you know, so um, I had like 20,000 followers on um, on Instagram and they just killed my account. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I don't really care for Facebook that much. You know, I call it fascist fascist book. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so so that led me to um, start on Telegram because it, it was really one of the only places that was um, not censoring or yeah, not censoring as much, I guess, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. That's one of the things that I admire about your work because I'm also part of that Telegram group and I love you know, just being able to be updated and seeing stuff there. And it's a little community where I think others can share as well. Um, it's, it's, so it's actually a huge community. It's, it's, I, I think it's almost like as the size of like um, Instagram now. And, you know, like it's big, it's big. It's, and there's a totally different community from Facebook and, and, and Instagram and, you know what I mean? And, and, and like Telegram has its own little Thing. And, and uh, I, I saw um, an article that they said that it was it was growing like two, two and a half million people a day right now. Yeah, it's it's fast. A lot of it's, people it's, are it's longing fast. for more of that privacy, more, you yeah. know, tight community. And at the same time, less and less censorship, you know, from what really we can share. Um, yeah, if, if, if we're going to, you know, act, claim and act as sovereign beings, we should act like that, you know what I mean? And we should have we shouldn't have anybody telling us, you know, what we can or cannot hear or see, you know what I mean? Like any of these things, you know, like and, and there is like tons of stuff that has been hidden. Our whole history has been hidden from us. Who we are, energy, you know what I mean? Like like everything has been hidden from us. And they just want, you know, they they, they want smart workers, you know, that's what that's what they bred or breed or try to at least. Someone who will just follow the government. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do the yeah. opposite Sheep. from, from the, the mainstream news, the government, the medical system, whatever they say, you do the opposite of it. Because Definitely. at the end of the day, what, when you follow the money on all these subject matters, it could be COVID, it could be like the financial system, it could be like history, it could be politics. You follow the money or you follow these things and you'll, you'll always see like traces of money. Who's funding it? You know what I mean? Like Pfizer's funding all yeah, these. Yeah. And how they're creating a certain narrative to make them look of course, you know, good of course. or earn more money. Which, be which only benefits them. You know what I mean? It doesn't benefit the people. So, you know, you follow the money. And then when you follow like the crazy, what they label, the CIA created the label conspiracy theory. You follow the those conspiracy theories, and you're gonna start finding a lot of truth in that. It might not be all truth, but there's a lot of truth in that. Uh, yeah, there's a comment, there's a stand-up comedy I saw in the other the other day, um, and it's like in his stand-up comedy, he's saying, "Okay, for those of you who don't believe in conspiracy theories, okay, let's just say that you know the government is telling the truth." Um, but it's like, and then he started to tell a story with wherein he's like, "I have like a young." boy and i love him so much i love him to death but i lied to that boy almost all the time and so you know who are we to think that the government just loves us and cares about us and is not lying to us like something like that it was so funny like how he delivered it and it's yeah it just reminded me of how even the channel that you have on telegram yeah it's so important you know with something that is outside of mainstream news and mainstream media and gives you know, opportunity for more people to be open to becoming sovereign beings, you know, because knowing the truth, some the truth wherein the truth will set you free, right? The truth sucks, but it will it will set you free and it will give you choice rather than just flat out, you know, institutionalized, governmental, this is the truth. And, you know, even though we've curated it and again, we, we're just pushing forward the narrative that will make the rich people even richer. So well, first, the government has never, ever, the governments slash the big corporations has never, ever, ever, ever had the interest of the people 
Never, ever. Okay, that's number one. Number two, when you look at, you know, I fall into like the group of like alternative news. Even you, you know what I mean? Like with, with, with your channel and people, the people that watch you, you fall into like this alternative news. Um, so that's a really funny statement because when you look at the podcasters and, and the people that are doing videos and, 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 and these, these large telegram channels, they're killing the mainstream media these numbers, you know what I mean? Like viewerships, numbers, you know what I mean? Like Tucker Carlson, who was used to be on Fox, you know what I mean? Like he got he got fired from Fox, basically. You know, well, that, that's the, the the story that they're telling you. He got fired from Fox. Um, and then he started his own um, show on Twitter now, which is owned by Elon now. And like this, those first few episodes were like 100 million plus views you know what i mean like in 24 hours it's not like you know it's a year and it's, it's, it's 100 million views it was like in 24 hours he got like a million views or 100 million views excuse me and so he's by himself has destroyed the whole news media uh, uh all the shows combined all together like abc cnn fox like everybody all combined He's doing that. You know, Joe Rogan is doing that. Like, you know, like all these independent journalists or like just podcasters that are just, you know, talking about like news and, and this and that. You know what I mean? Like it's they're destroying that because people are realizing like the news is fake. It's fake news. It's, it's, it's all completely full of lies. And, and they want they need to hear something um from from others and 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 this is where this is where we're moving towards you know what i mean and 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 uh it gets it, it actually goes deeper into that so so this alternative news media title it's you know what i mean like i know that's what they call it but more accurate this is the new mainstream they're not the they're the alternative now you know what i mean like this is like the new mainstream you know what i mean like independent journalists people talking to each other sharing information with each other and stuff that's like the new the new mainstream and this also goes with medicine too you know what i mean like the big pharmaceutical the the, the big pharmaceutical companies the pharmacias um the the medical industrial complex you know they label the holistic medicine as alternative medicine you know what i mean like they're the ones that call it calling it alternative alternative like what do you mean you know what i mean like like the use of herbs and holistic medicine homeopathics it's and been around medicine, for ages since thousands ages. of years <laughs> the pharmaceutical industry has only been around a hundred plus years they're the alternative medicine this was the original medicine you know what I mean? Like, and, 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 and so they, they always like reverse things. And yeah. because they have like the, the media platform and, and, and the schools and, 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 uh, you know, Hollywood and like all their platforms and the corporations. So they're able to push their agenda and, and push their narrative yeah, and through their, their marketing program. and advertising. Absolutely. Because, um, they're actually amazing at telling all of these stories, you know, for such oh, they're, a very they're long the best time. Storytellers. But the but but deep down, it's yeah to push their own agenda and to sell their products. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more sinister than that, but yes, we start from there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm curious about the Hollywood strike. Can you say a little bit more about that? And also, I know that there's a lot going on in terms of these chaos and these three D matrix information. Um, what is your advice for people to, you know, how can we keep our vibrations up? How can we remain sovereign beings energetically, um, not swim in the puddle of that chaos? You know, yes. what are what are practical tools and tips that you have? For for sure. I'll start with the Hollywood thing because I don't want to, you know, I don't even want to talk about it too, too, too much. But um, but first, we do need to understand because of Hollywood, because of the media, they have perfected storytelling you know what i mean so whatever story like they can make anybody a villain and they can make every anybody a good guy and they have they have perfected storytelling which means that um they know how to pull every human emotion 
out of somebody so they can make you feel sad they can make you feel happy they can make you feel inspired they can make you feel um anger they can make you feel like every single human emotion they know how to invoke that feeling through media through telling stories and um so when you understand that you'll understand how people can be manipulated okay and that manipulation doesn't just go through or doesn't stay at you know in the movie theaters or you know you're watching a movie and you feel you know like you always you root for the good guy and then you're like this is the villain and oh man he's bad and you know what i mean like they do this in real life with real life when i say like real life like the way they um and regardless and i'm not gonna get into politics but re regardless if you like trump or not they've villainized trump you know what I mean? Like they made people to think that he was a racist and all these things. And a lot of it is not true. You know what I mean? And I, like I said, I'm not, I don't really want to get into all that, but all I'm saying is they have perfected the art of human emotion manipulation. And, and that has been weaponized. And a big part of that is from Hollywood and the media. Now going on the strike, um, this gets into some rabbit holes um, of, you know, the dark, um, the dark stuff that Hollywood and the powers, at, um, the powers that run Hollywood were involved in. And this is absolutely true. And they're dark, they're satanic. Um, they've committed some incredible crimes against humanity. And all this will be re released. And I believe that strike is, has nothing to do with the AI. And, 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 and what they're saying it is. And I do believe that it is tied, um, connected to all these things, which is Hollywood must die. It's going to burn. It's going to burn. It is burning right now and stuff. So that's what's going on. And the shutdown of Hollywood is a coordinated, um, let's just say a coordinated operation that needs to be taken down or, or reformed or taken down, possibly reformed down the line which goes back to all these industries is happening with the medical industry, with the news, with the political Washington, D.C., with the religion, uh, with the food industry, uh, with the schools. And, and, and so all these all these 3D matrix areas has to be taken down um, and and um, and and then reformed and stuff. So while this is going on, there's just you know, it's it's is construction is is uh is construction on earth right now modern civilization modern society we're going through this massive change and shift the great awakening you know um and uh and finding out that everything has been lies finding out like all these like hideous crimes corruptions government uh monarchs and and um and CEOs and and, and just you know the highest levels of uh, of uh, of society has been participating, has been lying and 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 weaponizing against um against humanities uh, in in all countries, not just United States or you know in the Philippines or or or, or whatnot, but like everywhere. So this awakening within humans is you know it's like you said the truth is dark, the truth is ugly, um, but we have to understand what is going on, and 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 even in the spiritual community, uh, a lot of a lot of them do not want to hear none of this dark stuff that's going on but you know but you know they're talking about new earth and and all and 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 I agree I'm I'm with it focus your energy on on the things that you want to create and stuff but we have to be aware that this is going on so we can clean it it's all about cleaning it and cleansing it and dissolving these old energies because we cannot have a new earth and pretend to be in a new earth when there's children being raped and trafficked and, and, and little kids, five, six year olds and, 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 and kids that are like locked in, locked up in underground facilities and bunkers. And you know what I mean? Like being trafficked through tunnels and like all these kind of things, you know what I mean? Like, so, so I, I tell people like, look, we can, you can do yoga, you can do yoga, you can do your breath work and work on yourself and, and uh, um, and have prayers and treat your house like it's a temple, you know what I mean, and it's sacred, and um and be in this divine, energetic alignment. That's where we're supposed to be. 
But if I come into your house and you're doing all this and I point it out that your dog has pooped all over the place, <laughs> you know, behind the behind the couch and this and that, you can't get mad at me for telling you like, oh, look at all these stains and these, you know, this this poop that has been there for months and weeks or possibly years. You know what I mean? Like, I'm telling you this because we should clean it up. We must clean it up. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be rolling around stretching, you know, uh, in your underwear and stuff. And there's poop laying right here next to you and stuff. And that's what's going on in Earth right now. We have lots of things that we have to clean up. And it, and, and I'm not saying like, you know, you and I, we got to put our boots on and, and and go fight these, you know, demonic the activists. Stuff. But, <laughs> but we have to be aware of it. So we have to put energy into cleansing this, these areas, you know what I mean? Because our energy is needed. Awareness, light dissolves, light disinfects. So we have to be aware of this and we have to know the truth on what's been going on, you know? And, and, um, and then we can still continue to, um, to avoid the traps because there's still being a lot of lies being told. You know what I mean? And there's, uh, there's, I mean, like how many people in that, that, that do yoga in the spiritual community, in the cannabis community and all these things that have taken the vaccine that have gotten hurt from it. You know what I mean? Like these are matrix traps that they do want you to fall, fall into and stuff. And, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, um, this whole thing is, you fall into a victim of a spiritual war. It is a physical war as well, but it's a spiritual, it's more of a spiritual war. And we have to be, we have to be aware of all these things that's going on, you know. And I know it's, it's I know it's, it's ugly and it's and it's really, really like it's 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 some of the most heinous crimes that it's unheard of. It's uh, you know what I mean? Like so. Um, and, and and this is not to bring anybody's vibration vibration down. We need to be aware of it so we can our energy will dissolve it. You know, the awareness. Like it's a collective, like it a collective shadow work of it some has sort. To be. Yeah. You know, like if if we all have shadow work that needs to be done internally, think about the amount of shadow work that needs to be cleansed and purged and dissolved on a collective level. And that's what we need to be right now. And that's where the focus should be, you know, and, and, um, and right now it is, it is, you know, on, on, um, on a quantum level, we have to, we have to, we have to understand the quantum reality first, first and foremost, because our energy, not only our energy is good, you know, maintaining um, a good status, um, within our well-being energetically physically by we have seven seven um seven bodies like the the cellular body the uh, um the energetic body the the etheric body and all, all of that i'm sorry i'm just top of my head but i i posted that i'll share that post with you and you know um and and i broke down the seven uh, uh um layers of um of our body and stuff and we have to it's the full spectrum of of our body and we have to take care of it. But when we do that, now this energy ripples out into the quantum field. We ripple out, you know. Um, people talk to me like, well, you know, what once they go into these rabbit holes and 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 find out like all these, all these true events or true things that's been happening to humanity, the the the, the human trafficking, the child trafficking, sex trafficking, organ harvesting, human harvesting. Um, and, and the underground tunnels that's that's everywhere when they find that out like whoa what the, you know their mind is blown they're you know they're like what can we do to fight this darkness and unless you sign up unless you're like in the military you know like you don't need to fight darkness you just have to turn the light on you literally just have to turn the light on you turn the light on the room it's lit up there's no more darkness you know what I mean? Like, and I know that sounds easy. And how does that translate into the real world? But so, for example, let's say we're in a 10,000 square feet room, like a massive warehouse room. 
I know you guys are on meters, so you know I don't know how many meters is that. <laughs> we're, we're we're Americans, <laughs> so thousand square feet. It's like, like just a big big warehouse. You know what I mean? Like just imagine a huge warehouse, and you have like a tiny little candle. You know, like little candle, or a lighter, one lighter, one lighter little flame, a candle lit flame. It's not gonna light up this whole this whole space. You know what I mean? Like this space, but a hundred thousand lighters and all of a sudden that room is lit you can see everything there's no more darkness in that room you know what i mean so all we have to do is just light up literally light up and stuff and and that is through you know being in a high vibrational state of being in a love frequency everything that you know i believe that you know and and your audience probably know and stuff and just continue doing that yeah. but you need to know that our light is going to light up this realm and our awareness to to avoid the awareness is to avoid those that are involved those are guilty complicit that partake against these uh, uh, um against uh, or or partake uh, uh with the crimes against humanity you know what i mean like so so like we know um you know mcdonald's is bad but not just bad you know serving like poisonous food but they've done some bad things or they're involved in bad things we know pfizer is we know, you know, uh, 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 these pharmaceutical companies are. We know Walmart is, and I, I, it's probably not a Walmart, and and but Coca Cola and you know these companies, these big companies, Starbucks, you know, like they're pushing that agenda, that satanic agenda. You know what I mean? Like they all move. They're all owned by the same groups of companies a, a, as well, too. You know what I mean? So they're all they all move together even though it might seem like they're different companies but they all move in the same manner in the same fashion they all have the same agenda so we have to be aware who is what and who is doing what and and, and who is you know participating in these so we can withdraw our energy from them we don't support them we're not supporting disney and their movies we're not supporting them by financially as well too by buying the products and keeping them keeping them alive keeping them strong keeping them continually producing products that harm the people and then you know using the the uh the the profits to weaponize against humans you know what i mean like so awareness of that you know there's still a lot of people that go to disneyland and disney world and stuff and that's what that's a huge hub for child trafficking you know what i mean like, and these are parents that take the you know what i mean like take their kids we got to withdraw from that now it's, it's 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 finished like you like if you know what time it is you have to act accordingly you know what i mean so I mean, awareness so that we get to empowering personal choices yeah, and to you yeah. know remind ourselves that where we put our our money like that's where you know that's what we're supporting and there's so much empowerment and turning our light on when we go nope and then at the same time, you know, we'll just keep our light on, inspire others to turn their light on. And we support like that's how these corporations got so big and powerful because it's just all this money and the money is coming from the people. You know what I mean? Like we, everyone we being to, brainwashed to believe their side yeah, of the well, story. We, we need we need to be supporting the mom and pops businesses, you know, the local businesses. You know what I mean? Like um, like, you know, um, all these all these things like it and and it is from the brainwashing it is from the branding the marketing the designs you know the slick advertisements and all, all these things and, and and the celebrities and and all these things that all fall in line you know what i mean and and, and the distribution model the business model that you know when you go to places you you can only buy a certain amount of products and it's the products that they want to distribute to uh, uh, uh to the people and stuff you know so it's it's um it's really interesting but um but that awareness allows will truly allow you to be sovereign claiming your sovereignty and then acting accordingly you know so that's that's where we're at right now and this is where the awakening is um is uh is happening and you know truth is flooding even in the philippines they're getting it i, I know they're getting it because you're not the only one that i'm talking to you know what i mean that that's in the philippines and people from thailand you know like, like the government in thailand well the government in thailand is actually like um all collapsing the whole government is collapsing but thailand as a country um um 
what's that word called? Like uh like they canceled the contract for Pfizer. You know, the 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 king's daughter, she went into like some kind of like coma, you know, from the vaccine. And the doctors are realizing, like, oh my God, this is you know, from 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 the vax and all these things. And I like so so the countries are waking up, the African countries are waking up, you know, the South American Central, like all the little countries are waking up right now. And in the big countries, it's just massive chaos. It's a spiritual war, physical war. They're 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 they're, they're pushing it hard right now because they're, they're they're losing grip on the people, but the people are not backing down. You see what's happening in France, you know what I mean? Like even in our country, you know, here like all over the states, it's just you know, it's 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 a battle right now. It's a True. Real Is there a way that people uh, could just join your Telegram channel? I mean, how can people follow you or join the Telegram channel? If, yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's on the Telegram app, so you have to download the app. Um, um, I'll send you the link. The link you can yeah. On on, uh, on this video, you know what I mean. So the link will take you to to download the app, and once you download the app. Um, then you can you can you can find it. It's and it's it's basically Telegram is a text message app. You know the the core of it is a text message app, and it's a private text message app. Um, and I know a lot of people use WhatsApp, and you know I use it just because some people only have WhatsApp, and and for international uh, uh, texting, it does work well. But Telegram is the same thing too. It's just like WhatsApp, except it offers. Um, uh, group chats so you can have a group and you can have a group of like you know like if you had you know your your followers or, or you you start a group and stuff you can literally have like thousands I think you have like up to like 200,000 people in your group um, so everybody can just share text messages pictures videos and that's one thing's cool about telegram all the content I post or all the content that's on telegram is downloadable Meaning like if you go to Twitter and stuff, you know what I mean? Like you have to screenshot or record the video off your phone. The, on Telegram, you can just download it like a file because it's, it's a text message app. It's like if I send you a video, you can download it and stuff. So that's what's cool about that. The other thing is you can have a channel on it. And the channel is just, you know, it's just me sending out text messages with videos and, and links and pictures and my little, you know, caption. And 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 then people receive people receive that and uh, and um and 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 that's and and that's how basic it is. But it's just direct peer to peer, you know. And um and it's it's the it's the most direct way of sharing information, you know. And and okay. uh, Drew, is, um, is Zoom is gonna cut us off, so in one yeah. minute. <laughs> so let's no, no, end no, I, this I now, it. and then let's hop right back in. It's the same link. Nope. All right. No all good. <laughs>